Hey there, what's up? This is Seth. And if you are, you know, a real estate investor and you are interested in selling a property with seller financing, or even for that matter, buying a property with seller financing, something that you're probably going to need to figure out is what the amortization schedule is going to look like. And what that means is, you know, what, what the monthly payment is going to be based on the loan amount, the interest rate, the down payments, and the term of the loan. So, you know, how long those payments are going to be stretched out for. For somebody who's going to be getting into seller financing, it's actually something that probably want to, you know, invest in some kind of loan servicing software where they can do all kinds of, you know, loan tracking and figuring out payments and all this complicated stuff. But if you're like hiring a loan servicing company, or if you're just doing like a one-off deal where you're doing this one time and that's it, you may be able to get away with a free option. Uh, and there actually is a free loan amortization uh, calculator that's sort of built into Microsoft Excel. So if you have Microsoft Excel on your computer, you should have it right there for free. It should be called either a mortgage loan calculator or a loan amort amortization calculator, something to that effect. And I've just got this pulled up right now on my computer. And I just wanted to show you how it works because it's really fairly simple. Uh, all you have to do, uh, you're going to see in some versions of this calculator, you'll see, you know, this information up top and then you'll see a bunch of numbers beneath it. In this particular one, it's actually broken up into two sheets. We've got this first one where we plug in the numbers and then the second one um, where it shows the actual payment schedule. So it's just kind of broken up into two sheets. But the way it works is, let's say that we're selling a property for $100,000. So we've just plugged that number in there. The interest rates, we're gonna finance this thing at 9.99%. Uh, a higher interest rate is usually pretty typical. And then for the uh, duration of the loan, this is what we, what we call the term. And what I've got plugged in here is 60, and that means 60 months, which is another way of saying five years. So it basically means that we're gonna get 60 equal monthly payments uh, over the course of five years, and at the end of the uh, five years, there's no balloon payment. So it's not like there's a big lump sum still owing and they have to pay it all off. It's just kind of a typical mortgage where after they make those 60 equal payments, it's done. For the loan amount, we're going to require a 10% down payment. So they have to pay 10000 bucks of the 100000 up front, which leaves them with 90000 left to pay off. And then the loan start date, we'll just say at the beginning of the year, 2016. And then over here on the right, you're going to see uh, where it you know, automatically calculates what the loan payment is going to be. And there's this little item down here where it says property tax amount. And what that is, is if you want to collect extra money to handle the property taxes, so that basically, you know, they're paying, you know, the, the buyer or borrower is paying you this extra lump sum each month. And then you save that up and you handle the payment of the property taxes each year until it's paid off just to make sure those taxes are paid. That's, that's how I've done it in the past. Um, another thing you can use this for actually is if you're going to be hiring a loan servicing company to track the loan and handle everything for you. And that's actually kind of what I've moved to over the years because it's a lot easier. Um, a lot of times those, learn, those loan servicing companies will charge a monthly fee. And that monthly fee can be passed on to your borrower. And all you have to do is add that monthly fee into this property tax amount so that it kind of just gets handled and it doesn't come out of your pocket every single month. As long as you disclose that to the borrower when you close the deal, it's totally fine to do it that way. It's actually fairly normal. So um, let's just pretend the monthly fee is 15 bucks a month. So we're going to change this number to 390 to account for that fee as well. And that, so that's basically covering property taxes and that monthly servicing fee. And then we go over here to this amortization table and this actually shows us, you know, the date of every single payment, uh, you know, hypothetically. And then it shows us the balance. It shows us the breakdown of interest, principal and property taxes that, you know, combines to make up each monthly payment and then the closing balance. So what, you know, what the balance will look like before and then after. And this amortization calculator is a little bit different than most of the ones I work with because this monthly payment changes by just a little bit every single month. It goes down and that's going down based on this lower balance, which means there's a, a lesser interest amount. Um, 
and, and you'll kind of notice, you know, the way the amortization schedules work is that in the early days of the life of the loan, there is a higher interest amount and a lower principal amount. And that kind of changes um, as it goes on so that near the end, there's almost no interest and it's almost entirely going to principal. Um, it's just kind of the nature of how these things work. So um, that's why it looks that way. But I think a lot of times uh, most amortization uh, schedules will show an equal monthly payment, so it won't change. Um, this one's a little bit different, but nevertheless, um, just, you know, if you're looking for a free option out there and you don't want to spend any money, and if you happen to have Microsoft Excel on your computer already, check out this, uh, this simple calculator. It's a pretty easy way to figure out, or at least get a ballpark idea for what the monthly payments are are going to be based on whatever price you're trying to sell a property at or buy a property at. And the nice thing about seller financing is that you're basically the bank. So you get to decide what the price is going to be, what the required down payment's going to be, what the interest rate's going to be, how quickly you want to get paid back, any extra servicing fees you want to collect. You get to decide all of that and it's all kind of up for negotiation. So um, that's really one of the nice things about seller financing. But if you don't have access to this calculator for some reason, I'm actually going to include a link at the bottom of this video on YouTube. Um, and if you're watching this on the blog, I'll have a link beneath this video right there where you can download uh, this uh, calculator for free. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, click on the blog post link below and that'll take you to the blog where you can download it. And if you're on the blog, you should see it right there. So. Um, Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, again, if you need something more complex, if you're planning on doing a lot of seller finance deals or even one where you're going to try to service it yourself, in those cases, you'll probably want to get something a little bit more sophisticated than this because there's a lot of things that this particular calculator can't do because it just wasn't you know, designed to be everything. <laughs> so um, you might want to look into some alternative options if that's what you're looking to do. But if you just need a quick fix, um, check this out. I think it could be helpful to you. So that's all. Best of luck. Talk to you again soon.